Hello all. So we are back again with a new session. And uh, so last time we saw uh, how to create uh, uh, a website using WordPress, right? Uh, we saw as to how we can use uh, different themes, and then we also saw how to you know use different plugins. Of course, uh, how to use uh, how to how to create uh, pages and posts, correct? So moving on, we are, we are now uh, going to discuss about a very very important and interesting topic, which is uh, search engine optimization (SEO). Right? I mean, th today's world where there is so many websites, uh, I mean, uh, across the internet, across the whole internet, uh, so much of traffic, you know, going around. So it becomes imperative that you know we we have the right uh, you know right tool to have the best uh, success uh, for a website. So that is the use of a search engine optimization basically. And uh, yes, so without any delay, let's jump over. So first, let me reduce the screen and open my PPT just to have a look. Okay. Yes, search engine optimization, which in a short form is called SEO, right? Okay. Okay. Now, before we uh, go into SEO, uh, we also need to know about search engine results pages, which is also called uh, SERP. Because both are, you know, correlated, so to say. So, as a definition, a search engine results page uh, are results that a search engine re returns after a user submits a query, right? Okay. Now, let's have a few practical examples. Okay. Now, for example, if I want to search, so this is the Google search, search as you can see. Now, if I want to search something about best sports shoes in Bangalore. So, what is this? This is my query that I've submitted to Google search engine, right? And if I search, then what happens? These are the results that I'm seeing. All these are results, right? As you as I scroll down, so these are the websites. These are all the results that is coming because of the query that I submitted uh, to Google search engine. What was the query? Best sport shoes uh, store aisle, right? Best sport shoes store in Bangalore. So as you can see, these are these are all the results. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, whatever is on top ha is having good, uh, you know, good ranking, of course. And uh, in reality, all these websites that you are seeing here, they are basically are trying to outrank each other, and that is basically the work of search engine optimization (SEO), right? And uh, it becomes uh, a big task for digital marketers, you know, to use the best form of SEO, and uh, you know, so that you know uh, they are right on top of these SERP that is that is search engine results page, right? So that is the work of uh, a digital marketer at the end of the day, you know, uh, that they use the best uh, form of SEO, be it uh, you know. On page SEO, off page SEO, local SEO, you know. Uh, but of course, those things we'll be seeing uh, in a much uh, deeper way as we move uh, to the next sessions, so to say. Okay. So we can move on to our PPT again. Okay. So, what is search engine optimization? Or in other words, SEO. 
It is a process of attaining high quality and quantity traffic to a website from search engines, right? So basically, you've got a website, you want the best form of quality and quantity in terms of traffic uh, from the search engine, right? And how do you attain that? You attain that through the best uh, possible SEO that you will be doing basically, okay? Okay, now, uh, li like I already said and uh, discussed that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in, in, in the time to come, we will be going in depth in terms of the search engine optimization and we'll be seeing, you know, on-page SEO, off-page SEO, local SEO, all those, you know, different forms of SEOs uh, that we'll be discussing in depth at length, right? Uh, but for the time being, what we'll be doing is that, as I go move on to the second slide, we will be, we'll be uh, seeing one of the most important elements of SEO, which is key, uh, keyword research, right? Because ultimately, it's all about keywords, you know, uh, how uh, the important keywords uh, that you use in your SEO that really determines the success of your website, right? And how do we actually get these best keywords that we all, you know, fight for among all the websites that we have, right? So there, there are different ways. Uh, so one is brainstorming. One is uh, the second is seed listing, and then uh, you know we all also can use Google Analytics. And ultimately, all these has to be used, you know, in in, in a free tool given by Google uh, that is called Google Keyword Planner. You know, so that is the whole uh, you know way of getting the best out of your keyword research, uh, you know, ultimately your goal is to get the best keywords out of it, right? Okay. Uh, now brainstorming. What do I mean by brainstorming? So, like I said, my search intent. What is your search intent? My search intent was to have the best uh, possible uh, sports shoes store in Bangalore, right? So, what are the uh, what are the type of uh, you know keywords that I can have? Okay, let me list it out in a in a Excel. Okay, so let me write this as. Keywords, okay. So this you this uh, uh, this exercise of brainstorming you can actually do not only uh, uh, within yourself asking yourself as to what uh, what is that you would be typing as a as 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 a, as, as somebody who is seeking the best uh, sports shoes uh, store in Bangalore, but you can also uh, ask your own friends, you know, uh, as to what kind uh, of search queries they themselves would have, you know, if they had to find out the best sports shoes in Bangalore. Now, if you ask me, I would uh, definitely, you know, go, uh, it's like, like I already had typed, best sports shoes uh, stored. In Bangalore, right? Then I would type something like Bangalore best sports shoes uh, store. Then I would type something like running shoes. Running shoes um, shop in Bangalore, right? And then, of course, I would be asking my friends, my relatives, as to what they would be searching, right? So maybe uh, these columns, these rows, I'll leave it for them, okay? 
So, as of now I am just uh, of course, there is no end to it you know you have to uh, do the maximum type of keywords that is possible, but only for examples only for illustration I am just putting this for the moment ok. Ok. So, this is part of a brainstorming that happens ok. Now, what is the next one? Seed listing. What is seed listing? Now, like I uh, ok. Now, when I type top sports shoe shops in Bangalore. Ok, it does not give too many auto suggestions ok. Bangalore shoes uh, sports shoes sorry sports shoes shop is already one that has come ok automatically I will put that as one of the keyword ok. So, this is part of my seed list ok Bangalore what is that? Bangalore uh, sport shop. Now, if you see Bangalore sport sport shop, this is actually come as a auto suggestion. Okay, Bangalore sport shop. Bangalore sport shop. Okay. Okay. Now, if I click on this, what do I get? Do I also see? Uh, okay, from here you can also uh, maybe use this top hundred sports sports shop in Bangalore. So that could be one of the query, you know, uh, that that a lot of people might use, right? So top hundred sports shop in Bangalore that also could be used. Top hundred sports shop in Bangalore. Then sports shop near me that is uh, also ok that is a very important uh, uh, keyword search intent because uh, that has to do with local SEO meaning you know suppose if you are uh, in the vicinity of say a place like uh, say Kalyan Nagar for example. And uh, then when you type something like sports shop near me, all those sports shops near you would be coming in ok. So, if your target audience is you know is somebody you know who is in Kalyan Nagar and is trying to see a shop near near him and if it if he is uh, searching by the uh, keywords that is you know sports shop near me then definitely that uh, you know that shop would uh, would come as one of the options. So, sports shop near me, sports shops near me, is it S or plural or singular sports shop near me ok. So, this also you have to keep in mind ok. Great, then what happens? Mm. Okay. Then I will definitely type running shoes, uh, running uh, shoes shop. Uh, maybe I will type like this top running shoes shop ok. Best running shoes shop near me also it is one of the it is coming as one of the uh, auto suggestions best running shoes shop best running shoes shop near me. Okay. 
then top Bangalore port uh, shop okay let's type tennis tennis shoes okay it's coming as tennis shoes for men okay for men uh, tennis shoes for men near me okay mm, that also is that is also quite possible or I'm trying to search for something different mm. tennis tennis shoes okay tennis shoes online that also could be one of the possibilities tennis shoes online so if in case i've got an online store also if, if i've got omni channel that is apart from physical store if i also got an online channel then this definitely makes sense tennis shoes online how if i put shoes online bangalore Not much coming <clears throat> as options. Okay. Then uh, cricket. Cricket shoes. Bangalore cricket shoes. Okay. Cricket shoes in Bangalore. Okay. <clears throat> now this is a uh, wrong, I mean, this is a uh, spelling mistake that I did, but still it came as a auto suggestion. Okay. So this also you can use cricket shoes in Bangalore. Cricket shoes in Bangalore. Okay. Hmm. What happens if I click here? Anything interesting I'll get? Let me check. Okay. Top hundred cricket shoes deal. Shoe dealers in Bangalore. Okay, then okay, that's it. Hmm. Then something about football. Football. Uh, shop football shoes shop in Bangalore football shoes shop in Bangalore it's coming as one of the auto suggestions football shoes shop in Bangalore okay then what do I do uh, if somebody is into marathon Okay, and now okay. Now let me uh, write a few brands. Okay, now SS is a big uh, uh, brand uh, which is big on uh, running shoes and also tennis shoes. In fact, uh, Novak Djokovic, who, who is the world number one in tennis, uses SS uh, shoes. You know, so SS uh, Bangalore. If you do. Mm, yeah, this is Bangalore also, not a bad option. Bangalore. But uh, the problem with SS Bangalore, you know what, uh, is that uh, uh, it could uh, show show up, uh, if you click on there, that it could show up uh, your local SS uh, Bangalore, uh, you know, re regional office if it has one. So that could be one possibility, but still, let us put it there. SS cricket shoes. Okay, SS showroom in Bangalore. But anyway, uh, I don't have SS showroom. Mine is a uh, uh, different showroom that I'm talking about, right? I'm, here I'm talking about sports shoes. 
with all the different brands so ss shoe shop bangalore okay yeah okay shoe shop okay this also we can use ss shoes shop bangalore shop in bangalore okay 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 now what we will do is that now if you type this as you scroll down there is another thing that that is called your related search okay uh now as a showroom in bangalore is not my thing because like i said uh, my showroom is about all the brands that i have right then uh, as a showroom shoes online yeah it could be one because we are talking only about online right as a shoes online okay so likewise when i uh, if i choose this best running okay uh, sport shop okay uh, cricket shoes in bangalore oh, sorry if i choose cricket shoes in bangalore and if i click it here and search for the related search okay i scroll down and see the related searches then it gives me what adidas cricket shoes Mm, but uh, okay let me put in bangalore it's already put right okay mm, okay okay so it also gives uh, related searches like adidas cricket shoes which also i can put in fact i can put adidas cricket shoes in bangalore i can right so likewise they have also given me option of uh, nike right nike cricket shoes in bangalore nike cricket shoes in bangalore okay yeah Okay. okay now uh what we'll do is that we'll put this uh this uh, all these uh, key uh, all these um, keywords that we have uh, selected into something what is called a google keyword planner a google keyword planner is part of google ads okay uh now as a type i'll just show it to you as a type google ads okay you just type google google ads and i go here i'm already logged in so i don't have to log in separately oh i'm not logged in okay then this is my google ads account okay now you don't have to worry too much about google ads at the moment uh, the google ads ad account as such because we will be covering in depth in uh, the later in one of the later sessions uh, so just uh, remember this much that uh, google keyword planner wherein we will be searching for the best uh, keywords best possible keywords in terms of volume and everything that is that you will find in google ads that much you will remember okay so now when i open google ads i have to go to this tools and settings and as you can see, under planning you can see this google uh, keyword planner and i have to click on that okay now comes the magic discover new keywords i click on this 
Now one by one I'll feed all the keywords. Now maximum it will take 10 at one go okay and after this I'll enter then I'll go for the next one enter then I'll go for the third one enter and comes the fourth the then fifth and the Tennis shoes online. Mm -hmm. Cricket shoes in Bangalore. Okay, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only one more I can take. Which one to take? Football shoes uh, shop in Bangalore, as is Bangalore. Okay, let me take one brand. Okay. Uh, okay, shoe shop in Bangalore. Okay, I'm taking this. Oh, sorry. Where did I, where did I click? Okay. Okay. Enter. Oh, sorry. I have to get one of them out. Okay. So that's the max I can take. Now enter a domain to use a filter. Now I'll uh, take Noah Sports, which is one of the, you know, uh, biggest uh, shop currently under construction. Uh, revamp, sorry. So I'm just typing it. Enter domain name. As a filter, okay, get results. Hmm. Okay, now you can see Bangalore Sports Shop average monthly searches uh, is between 1000 and 10,000. Competition is low. You know, which is good news for me because if I've got a new shop, I obviously don't want, uh, you know, too heavy competition from my competitors, right? So monthly average search uh, volume is also quite good. It's quite healthy, one, between 1,000 and 10,000, okay? Uh, this part, uh, you can, s okay, this is part of Google Ads actually, which will anyway be, you know, uh, this is the keyword bidding that we're talking about, uh, which will be anyway be covering in, in the later uh, stages. So don't worry too much about this at the moment. Uh, so sports shop near me, uh, this has got uh, huge monthly searches that is between 100,000 to 1 million. Competition is low. This is also a good uh, uh, keyword for me. Okay. Tennis shoes online, uh, 100 to 1,000, not too much of uh, searches and also competition high. I will not uh, ideally like this as one of my keywords because uh, one is that you are giving me low search volume and then competition also being low, right. Then as I scroll down, the keyword ideas, uh, sporting goods store, uh, not bad, 100, between 100 to 1000, okay, so so, competition is low. Uh, okay, why I am interested in this sports uh, store near me, I will tell you why, because uh, not only the monthly search is high, that is between 1,000 to 10,000, competition also low, 
and very importantly people have also bid for this you know so that means this is quite in demand so people have uh, you know uh, bidded between 11.45 to 43.28 when they are doing google ads so this is of course not part of the seo that you are talking about but uh, in terms of keyword uh, research uh, this factor also comes into play often because you know that means people are quite uh, uh, bidding you know originally high for this keyword so that means this is a good keyword to have okay then uh, sports equipment sportswear shop near me uh, this is this will be near me only uh, that this is also not a bad uh, select because this is in 1000 to 10000 the uh, average monthly searches competition low and also people have you know bid it for this between 10.43 to 33.76 that is the top of the page bid okay so that's how you have to see uh, in terms of the keyword research okay. best sports shop near me this is also good to select for me uh, because monthly average monthly searches is, is between 1000 to 10000 competition is low and people have bidded uh, for this basically one more that i would be interested in if somebody you know wants to go for this they can also go for this but then competition is high so uh, i mean i'm not sure I will ideally not go for this because mine is a new uh, shop. Buy tennis shoes online, but monthly search is quite low and uh, competition also high. Uh, I will ideally not go for this. You know, so that's how it is. So that's how you have to select uh, your keywords. Okay. Now, one more thing that I would like to show to you uh, is how to use Google Analytics, uh, you know, as a source for keyword. Now, again, Google Analytics we will be discussing it in depth, but I just want to, you know, give you overview as to how you can still use Google Analytics as uh, part of your keyword research. But this is, uh, of, of course, uh, not, uh, you know, very commonly used, but still, you know, it's, it's still good to have in uh, in your menu, so to say. So this is my Google Analytics account. Okay, uh, again, like I said, uh, don't worry too much about uh, this platform as of now. Uh, just chill uh, because we will be discussing about Google Analytics in depth. But why I've opened this uh, platform is because I just wanted to show you something. Now, as I open Google Analytics, I go to Behavior. Okay, then I go to site content okay under this all pages okay now as I, okay this is my uh, tennis for india which is a tennis uh, website this is not, nothing to do with shoes okay but i'm just showing it to you as an example now here if you see indian tennis 360 so indian uh, this has got 14 page views. Okay, now let me just. Uh, this is only for one week. Let me make this for. Um, let me make this for. Between say 1st Feb to today. Okay. Yeah. So now my search volume will improve okay <clears throat> best best tennis racket brand okay so this also if if i am if i have a tennis store say for example then i'll be using uh if suppose if this was a tennis store so to say if tennis for india was a tennis store which is not the case but if it was suppose a tennis store then uh, i would have used the uh, uh, best tennis racket brand as one of the keywords uh, because you know people are searching for this you know as you can see, I mean, people are, I mean, basically coming to this, not searching for this, people are coming to this page, right? Uh, so, uh, maybe I can use uh, uh, 
because it's my website so i uh, i would of course want to have search intent around the product that i'm selling right so maybe i could uh, use a uh, uh, keyword like best tennis racket brand because it is giving me good page views of 132 right it's right on top and if for for example if uh, now head head tennis is head is a okay for those of you who are not too much in the tennis let me tell you uh, head is uh, one of the top uh, tennis racket brands in the world you know all the top players like Novak Djokovic who is the world number one they use head basically you know uh, just like Wilson, Yonex, Babolet head is one of the top racket brands in the world in the world I'm talking about okay so uh, if suppose if um, Again, if this was a, this was a kind of a, a platform wherein I am not only talk, uh, you know selling rackets, but I also help you know players to get sponsorship, then maybe sponsorship head tennis, you know, could also one of the could be a, one of the important keywords that that I can uh, use because people have come to this page basically. People have come to this page means you know this could be of something of interest uh, to them in terms of the search intent. Again, I'm tell, uh, telling you this is not a keyword, okay? This is uh, the uh, page I'm talking about. But why I'm still uh, keen on using this as one of the keywords is because people are showing interest into this page, right? And this page is what is this page all about? This page is about sponsorship, head tennis, you know? So I can maybe, you know, uh, search for keyword around this. Uh, these words basically right okay, okay don't uh, you know get too much into this at the moment like i said you know we will be getting to uh, google analytics uh, in the later, later chapters but as of now just uh, keep in mind that this also could be one of your tools not the ma not your major tools um, the major tools was the one that we already discussed but this could also be one of the ways of finding out a keyword because this is where your traffic is coming. This is, uh, these are the pages that people are coming in terms of the traffic. So you can, you know, use them, these as, uh, you know, uh, as one of your keywords. Okay. Okay. Now, one more important thing that we need to see is I go back to Google search. Okay. Now, another important thing that we need to understand is uh, your sh uh, short tail and long tail keywords. Sports shoes, right? This is a short uh, short tail keyword. Now, with this, when I'm saying that my sports shoes are in Bangalore, right? So chances of people. Uh, with a search intent of only sports shoes doesn't make any sense, because, right? Because if I am wanting to buy sports shoes in Bangalore, so obviously I'll type, type, type something more, right? I'll type something like now uh, best sports shoes in Bangalore, I'll be typing. It has already come as an auto suggestion, right? I'll be typing like this. So this becomes your long tail keyword. Now, 70% of the traffic actually comes from long tail keyword, 70 to 80% of the traffic comes from long tail keyword. So that is also something that we need to understand that we need to use more and more of long tail keywords instead of short tail keyword. Because what happens is that short tail keyword will only uh, give you, will not be as specific as long tail keywords. Uh, this is very specific. Sport, uh, best sport uh, shoes, uh, sorry, shop is what I have missed out. Shop in Bangalore, right? So this makes sense. Because this is how my search intent would be if I'm wanting to buy sport shoes from a shop in Bangalore. I'll not be typing only sport shoes, you know, uh, I mean, I'll not be typing only this, best sport or maybe uh, best, I mean, sport shoes. I'll not be typing only this. Right? I'll be typing this entire thing, which is nothing but the long tail keyword, right? Yes. So that's that's it for keyword uh, research. Uh, I mean, uh, this is uh, something that you really uh, need to practice um, uh, from the very basics. I mean, you have to start from the basic. Uh, I mean, 
it's all about you know having a basics right so we discussed about how to you know uh, find out a keyword first you need to brainstorm you need to really think uh, very in very simple terms that uh, uh, if i if i have got a shop or whatever the shop is how will uh, somebody you know who is willing to buy something from my shop would be searching you know for that product or service right that ser- search and then you know if you think like a customer you're a, you know you have to be in his shoes basically so that's brainstorming then second came your uh, seed listing we saw how to you know uh, find out uh, the keyword basically uh, in terms of uh, um, putting it in the google search in, in, in engine so to say uh, and then uh, finding those auto suggestions also then also uh, you know dropping down scrolling down how to see the related related search searches right and then ultimately uh, uh you know putting all these keywords that we think are good enough in what is called a keyword planner and you the keyword google keyword planner and that google keyword planner you will you, you will find it in uh as part of uh, the google ads basically google ads platform right and uh, lastly we also saw that uh, you can also use google analytics to see uh, you know what uh, other keywords that you could use basically right so that's it for uh, keyword research uh, it was again uh, great you know uh, to have taken this session hopefully you have also uh, you know enjoyed the same and see you soon in the next session again thank you thank you again bye